guys and welcome back to the channel. This is the Crafty Cockney. I'm showered and clean so I have no need to pick up the soap. And that can only mean one thing. We're playing some more Slender Prison. Uh, just before we start off I'd like to thank you all for the brilliant comments and advice you gave me in the last video where I asked you for advice. And I think the consensus, what everyone's kind of gone for is Obviously, not everyone, but I can't put everyone's ideas into one video, unfortunately. But kind of what, what the most of you said was, after the fourth note, just sprint. Just run like fuck crafty. So that's what I'm going to do. Never a good start when uh, the first note isn't there, and I've got to come all the way down here. Oh, there's a lot of ochre in that. Um... Yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the arse having to come all the way down here just for one note. Oh, okay. I, uh, this is the only kind of Slender game that I've played so far where I, I really have my try-hard pants on when I start playing this. I really, really want to fucking beat it. I mean, this has been out like two weeks now. No one's beaten it. If they have it, they sure as hell haven't put it on YouTube. Two weeks? Let's be honest here. I mean, it's normally like two fucking hours that one of these games is out. and some, there's, foot, there's already footage up on YouTube of somebody completing this bloody thing. Two weeks? And no completion? Why is it always the last fucking cell I go into? At least I'm not. I'm getting stuck to six today. <laughs> Staying well away from them six. Did you see a slither of his head sticking out of the wall? That is some fucking bullshit. That come on. That is some. Bullshit. That, this this is hard enough as it is, you know. Fucking hell! Need any fucking help? Hmm. I can't believe that half his fucking head was showing. <laughs> Come on, man! Throw me a fucking bone. That's some bullshit. I'm actually, I'm gonna leave that in. I'm gonna leave that in. I want you guys to see that actually. So yeah. That's fucking bullshit. Well, hopefully this time around, the um, the first photograph is actually gonna be in the rec room. And we'll just spin straight around. I think after that, kind of appalling, appalling luck. We deserve it to be in here. We deserve it to be. And there it is. Come to Papa, my little beauty. Okay. I've still got my try hard pants on. I haven't rage quit or punched a fucking table or anything. No. Don't be the last cell there. Don't be the last cell. Trying to be careful. Do you guys think he's worked my route out yet? <laughs> no, not after note two. Or photo two. That's that's some bullshit there right there. You can kiss my ass. Is it safe to stop running yet? Okay, I've stopped. Night number four. Normally walking up this corridor we get some static. So I have my pinky hovering over the shift key. It's not in either of 
these cells and we know that it's on the floor in one of these three cells <gasps> no 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 Fucking fair, man. That's some fucking bullshitorama. Five again. Should we make this an extra long video? Yeah. I might title this video. That's some bullshit. I think that's a good. <laughs> that's a good title to video. Oh man. Do you think the mechanics of this is too hard now? Because I mean, him spawning there, there's obviously. I think with scary games like this, there needs to be an element where you can actually escape. Because that's what gives you suspense. Um, knowing that you have power over your own preservation. That scenario just there, where he he spawned in the cell, there was no getting away from it. None. Do you think it... Do you think it lowers the fear factor? Knowing that you can't get away anyway. The answer's on a postcard. It won't be here now. We're going to have to go the long way around. Yep. Oh, oh, Dying to sprint. <laughs> five out of eight. I mean, five out of eight isn't, you know, it's not shabby. It's not shabby at all. But you'd feel after all the practice that we've been getting, we would be progressing. But it's like what I said. In one of the previous um, prison videos, I don't think it's much down to skill. It's it's down to luck. It's down to where they spawn, where he spawns, where you are when he spawns, as well as the route that you're taking. Now we've already worked the route out. We we know we know a good route to to travel to get these fucking things. haven't been given that slice of luck yet. But I'm confident if we keep trying, we will get that slice of luck soon. I'm sure we will. <laughs> okay, sink number three. It's in sink number three. Cool. We're on two. I'm not going to mention static or any of that shit. As soon as I do... We'll be up to now. We get static straight away. Is his head sticking out of these fucking walls? Cheating little bum. Eight foot pedophile bastard. Okay, it's not on this bed, so it'll be in the bed opposite. There it is. Three out of eight. Majestic. If it was on this the That's just bullshit. Maybe I'm losing losing it a bit with this game, guys. Maybe, maybe, maybe that was the last attempt. But hey, you never know. Okay guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Perseverance, if nothing else. Drop me a like if you did. <laughs> and I'll catch you beautiful, beautiful people on the flip side. This has been the Crafty Cockney. And later! If you still want more Crafty Cockney in your YouTube life, we'll be sure to click on the previous video link to take you in the latest to the series. And also the featured video tab 
which will take you to what's hot in the world of Crafty Cockney. And remember to follow me on Facebook and Twitter guys if you want to chat to me outside YouTube. The links for both of these are in the description to this video. Take it easy guys. <laughs>